the Kleinkampfverband der Kriegsmarine, or the small battle unit of a German navy, was a World War II German naval special unit. It was formed in April of 1944 and operated until the last days of the war. The unit operated a mixture of midget submarines and an explosive speedboat, the Sprengboot Linze or the Explosive Boat Linze. They were operated in units of three with two boats carrying 350 kilograms of explosives and the third tasked with remotely controlling them during their final attack run. The cruising range was 100 nautical miles at a speed of 15 knots. By October of 1944, 385 boats had been manufactured. The pilot would approach a target head-on at full speed and then jump off the boat about 300 meters away. A metal frame ran around the bow of the ship, the springs of which placed every 15 centimeters activated a delay fuse on impact with the target. After about 3 to 7 seconds, the main charge at the stern detonated under the hull. This should achieve maximum damage to the attacked target. The attack formation consisted of three boats, which shot towards the target in an arrow shape with the command boat in front dropping back a safe distance from the target. The two explosive boats raced past him towards the target. After the target had been destroyed, the pilots who had jumped out were retrieved from the water by the command boat. This was the theory. In reality, the overall success of the Linze was modest. Some Allied ships were damaged, but no Allied ships were sunk. One of the main problems was the small speed of the boat. So the planning of a totally new design began in December of 1944 by an engineer who approached the Kleinkampfverband with an unusual concept, the Sprengboot Tornado. In late 1944, the German Navy, with its surface fleet destroyed or rendered virtually impotent by overwhelming Allied air superiority, began to turn increasingly to special weapons to accomplish some of its original missions. These missions consisted of attacks on Allied shipping relatively close to shore, raids on Allied ports, and the destruction of bridges. According to this concept, a motorboat-like vehicle was to be equipped on both sides with an aircraft floater loaded with 350 kilograms of explosives very close to the waterline. So, the total explosive power should thus be around 700 kilograms. The floats were supposed to come from the sea variant of the Junkers GU-52 aircraft, which had already been mass-produced and was therefore available in large numbers. The two swimmers were connected by a construct and it was powered by an Argus pulse jet engine of the V-1 flying bomb so the exterior of the tornado resembled a unique catamaran. This unusual weapon could hold 300 kilograms of explosives and it could have a full speed of 48 knots. So the tornado could carry twice the load of the Linze and it was three times faster. The tactic was identical with the earlier explosive boat. They attacked in groups of three, two explosive boats and one command boat. 
the armed boats would choose their targets and begin a race at high speed. When certain of the hit, the pilots would lock their boats on the target, arm the weapon system, turn on the radio receiver and abandon the tornado. The concept was simple, however, the development department of the small combat unit was skeptical since there had been no attempts to combine a jet engine with a boat. Nevertheless, the planning began, albeit in a modified form. Accordingly, the tornado should be able to be controlled by radio. The first model towing tests were carried out at the Army Research Institute in Hamburg with 350 kg of explosives in the floats. The engine tests were carried out in Travemünde. The first three trials took place in front of the Army Research Institute in the Baltic Sea. There, the tornado easily reached 48 knots in calm seas, but got out of control slightly at full speed, which increased the risk of capsizing. By the time the German army surrendered in May of 1945, the final version of the tornado had been completed. However, this version was destroyed to keep it from falling into enemy hands. If the war had lasted longer, the German navy would definitely have used this boat with greater success. Nevertheless, after the end of the war, the construction documents were handed over to the Allies. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.